Hi, I am Partho. So welcome to another video on the series of document understand. Now in this video, I'm going to use this particular invoice and extract multiple tables from a single page. So as we can see over here, so first let's understand this invoice. So here we have the invoice number, order number, invoice date, due date, total due. So this can be one table that other uh, table is obviously here the hours quantity service rate of price exist and subtotal and the third one is this subtotal the applicable tax and the total amount so these are three different tables we can assume over here so if we see the second one the hours and quantity this particular table so this is already in a format of table like uh, we have columns and rows but this the first one invoice number and the subtotal one it's not in a table kind of format so in this particular workflow what i'm going to do is i'm going to use extract this hours and quantity and the subtotal and text using a table format like i will keep the, the type as table and for this i will just extract the details from it the invoice number order number date due date and the total view so let's get started I've opened so i've already created a workflow i will just walk through the complete workflow and show what all needs to be done now in this i've already created a taxonomy for it where i'm defining two tables and this particular five fields over here the invoice number order number and other so let me show you the taxonomy is loading okay so i have under table extraction the group name i have my category multiple tables so let's click on that now as i told you so the invoice number i have kept it as a individual field and it's of type number order number is a number invoice date due date also uh, i am not i have not extracted the total due because we will have a bit here in our third table now the next is order details now the, let's see what we have in order details okay so order details is the middle table the hours and quantity one so here i have defined the different columns hours and quantity service rate of price exist and total so that are the five columns i need to define here you can add multiple columns how many you want so here the type of order details is table now hours and quantity is a number let me click on save service is a text rate and price is obviously a number the exist is a number and the subtotal is a number so let me click on save now the third one is total amount here as we saw we have three things subtotal tax and total so here we can see there are only two rows we don't have column headings but what we want our column headings to be subtotal tax and total so we need to you can say transpose it like we need to turn this first particular three rows in the first column into the upper column name so we want them here above so in our excel file so we'll try doing that now you need to define the subtotal as a number, the text as a number, and the total as a number. So let's click on save and close the text now. Now let me also close this file because it's not required now. So the first step in document understanding is loading the taxonomy. So we have already created the taxonomy and we need to store its output in the taxonomy output. Now the second step in document understanding is digitizing the document. So we need to specify the path over here, which I've done in here in the variable. Then output is the document text and the document object model. You need to use a OCR engine. You can use other as well, Microsoft or Omni page. You can use any OCR you wish. Now the third step. So the first step was loading the taxonomy. The second is digitizing the document. Third is data extraction scope. Here you need to specify the document path the document text the object model 
which we have already specified in the above fields. Now, after that, you need to do is provide the taxonomy output, the document type ID. Now, if you can get the document type ID in this particular file, the taxonomy file. So I have it created. I have many of the taxonomies defined. So I have here table extraction, multiple tables, multiple tables. So this is the document type ID which I've copied and pasted over here. Then there is the extraction results. Then I'm using here a form extractor. So what I'm doing in form extractor is I'm specifying the input. So this is by default done and you need to specify the API key. So you can go to cloud.uipart.com. There in licensing section, you can click on other. And when you click on other, you will see like a API key option. So what you can do is you can copy that particular API key and paste it. So after copying the API key, you need to click on manage templates and you need to click on create template. So when you click on create template, you will see this particular option. So you need to select the multiple tables type, name it, select a native document and OCR. So I've already done all that and created a template for it. So let me edit it and show you what are the, how you can select the particular field. So let me maximize it. Okay. So first we need to select five fields. So you can press the control button and select five different fields. So I can just change the extra. Now for invoice number, this is my invoice number. I've used custom selection, dragging it here and change text record. So similarly, you need to do for order number, the date, the date, and we don't require the total due over here. So I've similarly done that. Now the main part comes over here when I'm trying to extract the order details. So let this, uh, so let me show you how we can do it. So when I click on extract new table and I drag it over here. So since this is already in a proper row column format and a table format, we'll get the headers above itself. So here I can select hours and quantity. I need to select average, date and price, exist, and subtotal. Extract headers as well. Save new table. Now, if you want to add a particular row manually, what you can do is wait, let me delete this additional. These are the additional rows. Let me click insert row below. Now we are, if I use custom selection, drag over this field and I can add it over here. So this is how you can use custom selections while selecting the rows. You want. So I don't want this row. So I'm deleting it and save and close. Now, the other table, the subtotal one. So this is the total. Amount. What I did over here is since I wanted them as the column name, I had already specified them in the, yeah. So what you can do is since you had already specified the column name. So I want the advantage. Now I want to tell you here, when we specify all the fields properly in the taxonomy, we get them over here. So if I want to, Suppose I'm selecting this particular year subtotal. I want this as my column name. So what I can do, I can select it as custom area, click here and I can define it over here. Later, I want to do the text, text. So I have selected here. Okay. So let me click again on this text. I can put it over here, change the extra. Here. So the advantage of defining the fields properly in the taxonomy is that you can use them over here directly. Now I have defined total. Similarly, so if you see here, the custom selected part is this particular thing. Yeah, yeah. So this will obviously be in a proper format or in the same format whenever you like process the multi-file files also. So this is how you can select multiple tables from a single page. So as we saw here, I selected the hours quantity table and the subtotal and the text table. So this is how I have selected multiple tables. Now let's save and close and move to the next step where we'll configure the extractors. So close this. Now in extractors, you need to always select 
this particular field so as you can see there are many details we are extracting so here also if you see they are in the table format the table ones and the individual ones are individual so if i unselect this so this will be the by default when you click on configure extractor after that if you want all the uh, if you are using a single extractor so you obviously want all the details to be extracted using a single extractor so you can select also you have an option to like individually select the fields like that if you want all fields just click on multiple tables and we have that. now the next step present validation so present validation is basically used to validate the data that was extracted by the data extraction scope so as you see here we are passing an input the extracted results and obviously the required other details the part text object model and the taxonomy and in output we are getting the validated results so this is how after validating the human data so it might happen when you a person is sitting and running this particular workflow or using document understanding and validating the data he has changed some data or he wants to change some data if it is not extracted properly so at that time you can use the present validation station but it is not a compulsion to use if you know your data is getting extracted properly you can just leave it so after that there is export extraction results so whatever data we have got will extract them into a data set now we'll process that data set into tables and write that data in our excel file so what i'm doing here is i've used a for each loop so whatever tables are extracted here you need to write data set dot tables and here the type should be system dot data dot data table after that i have just simply used a right range activity this is my excel file name these are the tables now as you can see here we have three different uh, categories we are extracting our data in. so the first one is we are using the simple fields which are there the invoice number date due date and all that things the second one is a proper table which we have named it as order details and the third one is uh, the total amount i think so yeah it's total amount so it is extracted that so since we are extracting in three different parts or you can say three different categories i want the sheet name to be accordingly in excel file so i want in one excel file three different sheets to be created for my three different parts in which i am extracting the data so one will be the simple fields the other will be the order details and the third one will be the total amount so now we have completed all the steps properly so let's run it and see what output we are getting let me check if the file is closed yes it's closed let's run it and let's wait for the output So now we'll get the prompt of present validation station. Yeah, it is. So let's check all the data. We have invoice number properly extracted. We have the order number. We have the date. <clears throat> so as you can see here, it was January and like in words, but here the month is extracted and it's a number. So we have a uh, properly structured data due date. Now let's check the other details table. So now here, as you can see, hours, quantity, services, rate and price, exist, everything we have properly over here. So if I click over here, I have this, I have here this, I have this, I have exist, I have the support. Now we need to check for the total amount table we have three different columns and we have row properly extracted so as we can see over here even though it was like two columns without some header or indexed we have processed that particular thing and we have created columns for our table so let's save and close and save this thing and now let's check that also if you want the headers in your excel file in the sheet so you need to select this particular option add headers because i got some question like how the headers are coming and all so you have to select this question uh, this particular option now let me go to project 
refresh. Let me open this one. Yeah, so this is the Excel file. Now you can see we have all the details properly extracted over here. Invoice date, due date, and the order table and the total amount is the another table which we are extracting. So that's there over here. Now after that, as you can see, we have one more simple fields formatted created. So this is the one like when we are saying present validation we saw that there were different values coming there below so as you can see as i showed you like the month was uh 25 1 2016 but here we have the weights written in the document so the values there below are the formatted values so one more sheet for that is created so we can delete this particular sheets all the formatted ones because we don't require them so let me delete all of them and delete now let's check the other here we have all the details the order details so as and quantity was one this was web designing the this is a simple description we have the below text as well extracted exist was zero and we have the subtotal now in the total we have the subtotal text and the total so this is how we have all the extracted values so here we saw in this particular video how we can extract multiple tables even though if our table is not in a proper row and column format even though how we can still extract the data from it so thank you for watching the complete video also do subscribe to my channel if you like this video and there are many more videos on document understanding and other topics as well on my channel so you can go to the channel videos and check out the other videos as well also please do press the bell icon over there below because to stay updated to all the videos I upload. Thank you.